guys being a little too aggressive, not stepping back in the zone? What? No, they don't stay aggressive, though. We never not be aggressive, but it's just, you know, knowing, you know, the down the distance, you know, just everything on the field. You know? So, you know, gave a big plays that, that shouldn't have been given up, but, you know, we lived through it, we came back, bounced back after. You seem to have been grading out pretty well in each of the three games. You're pretty pleased with what you've done so far, personally. Yeah, just a little bit. You know, I got to keep working. You know, got to create more turnovers. You know, that's our thing. Deep for secondary, we got to create turnovers. Though. But you know, I, I pride myself on trying to make sure I uh, do well each week. In coverage, I yeah, mean, you feel a lot more. Too. You feel a lot more com comfortable and confident out there. Yeah, of course. You know, uh, Coach Brown's giving us some more confidence on the secondary. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna do everything we do. You know, we're gonna blitz whatever. So we just play man. So that's that's all the confidence we ever need. What were the issues uh, Saturday when you guys got gashes on you? What, what was the when you diagnosed it? What were the problems? Just you know, knowing who's deep, who's not. You know, uh, playing technique. You know, when in the game you got to play your technique every time. You miss technique. You know, somebody faster than you, stronger than you can. You know, I'll play you. So it just, this is all that happens. You know, it's a little faster. You got to play better technique. You know? What do you guys learn from that? Just playing better technique. Like you know, every day. You know, it doesn't matter if it's the first quarter, or fourth quarter. You got to play technique every. Every down, you know, and it, 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 don't matter, it doesn't know you don't know when it will come, and then it came. So you just got to be focused up. So something kind of just maybe like a little bit of a wake up, though. Yeah, of course. You know, it woke us up like wow, like you know, they scored early. It was seven zero, and it was fourteen. It was like, oh man, so we just got to you know focus up. You think people underestimated that Colorado team? They have some playmakers. I mean, we well, we know they had playmakers. We knew they had mm -hmm. playmakers. You know, we knew they were fast. The quarterback was good. You know. Um, the running back, you know, he was, they didn't really run the ball like so well, but you know, he still was a, a good running back. But you know, we didn't take him for granted. We just just blew a couple coverages early. How good were they? I mean, did they compare to some of the Big Ten teams or the better teams that you yeah, faced? Yeah, they, they were up there. Uh, mm -hmm. Like the receiver core, the quarterback, you know, their chemistry, all they had. I know those guys. They, I think they were all juniors, all yeah. receivers, juniors, sophomores. I know they've been there for a while, and uh, I know they're topping the Big, uh, the Pac-12. So, you know, I know they did a good job. So. How would, you, how would you grade their secondary? I think we're good, yeah. The secondary was good, too. Uh, I'm not, not going to say it better than ours, so <laughs> even though they scored, it doesn't matter. But uh, that was a good secondary. You know, they, they all looked like they knew what they were doing. They focused up. You know, they wanted to come in and beat us. So uh, that was a good team. I know Drew Pittle and Seth Jordan's been good with you guys and doing whatever you can, but you know, you're with him a lot. Is he itching here? Yeah, of course. sense that he's getting a little antsy. To yeah, everybody who, anybody who gets hurt, you know, and – know they want to clear the team, that they're always answer to get back, even though we're not ready to. So he, he had to make sure that he was ready. Um, so he's good now. Just, just, now, he's just, now he's ready. How much does it help all you guys? I mean, we know he's a good player, but in terms of your own peace of mind, whatever it might be, how much does it help you knowing that he's in the game? Um, just you know somebody's going to get locked down. One side will be locked down. The D-line's going to rush. And it's, you know, it's going to be a good game. We will not know what they're going to do after that. Um, know that you know, he's a great a great cover guy, great defender, great tackler. So, you know, we know that one side of the field is, you know, is, is locked down for me. What about the other side, man? I mean, you're doing all yeah, right yeah, over there. I was just saying, I was, I was saying on that side. But, uh, yeah, for, you know, for him too, you know, he, I guess uh, he would think for me or a charm that uh, that side is locked down too. So both sides have the comfort, have the, the comfort uh, level of each other knowing what's going to happen on each side. It's good. Was he out there running around today? Yeah, he was good today. Okay. Did you hear me bummed for him? You know, he worked as hard as you guys did. You know, so he said, no first for games. You guys been trying to keep him up? Or yeah, he's been good. He knows he's, he's all right. You know, it was a long camp. You know, we were all beat up. You know, it just, it just hit him last. Um, but, you know, he's, he's been ready to get back. So, he's been good. Is he like the JD of old out there? Yeah. Still looking like? Yeah, he's still the same, same old JD. You know, he never going to do his swag or anything. He's still the same. Doesn't seem like we've seen the best of this defense because you guys haven't had your full complement out there. You think yeah. the the ceiling's a lot higher than what we've seen? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, our first game was close because we almost had everybody besides him. You know, so just trying to get everybody back. And, you know, then we'll, we'll see where we're at. But right now, we just got to build on. It. Safeties took a lot of grief last week. Do you think that's unfair? Not really. I mean, you know, they got to play technique. You know, mm -hmm. they they figured out our world basically. You know, having to cover somebody. But you know, just learn. You know, just get better. Just get better. But you, know, you get a play on you. You got to come back and be ready. You see, Jordan was the same old, same old. yet they're talking. Yeah, same old. Smack yeah, yeah, yeah he's same old. Yeah. He's never gonna lose anything. Yeah, you know, doesn't matter if he's hurt or not. You know, he's talking, talking trash during the game when he wasn't even playing. <laughs> <laughs> That's him. So he's never gonna lose. You know, him. What have you seen from Levert and uh, and uh, David? They got, they got learning. They're learning mm -hmm. fast. You know how we had to learn. When we came in. 
we just got to make sure they, they're, they're ready. You know, if anything happens to us, you know, they, they got to be up. Or they can play any other position. You know, so just making sure they're ready. But they're, I think they're ready, though. In the, uh, in the future, you see those guys being yeah, pretty good. comparable yeah, to you guys? Yeah, they'll be good. You know, I don't know about us. I don't think they'll be good. <laughs> nah, but they'll be good, though. You know, adding on a lot of other players, so they'll be good. What do you like about them? They're just they're young. They're like, they just got a lot of energy, you know. Energy that has kind of left us, you know, since we've been here mm-hmm. so long, you know, we're tired, but, you know, they're, they're full of energy. They, they just got here basically, so they're, they're still you know, high on life right now. So just, if they keep that going, then they'll be good. I think it helps you guys back there that you've all.